Hey Willard, we wanted to demonstrate the concept of uh, a dim curve and how it actually can be manipulated through control uh, to create massive savings. What we have here is a 45 watt edge lit fixture, very similar to the ones you have. Uh, right now it's pulling about 48.4 system watts. And I'm gonna give you a demonstration of just what happens when I begin to implement control strategies and how we could use this in things like daylighting. So I'm gonna actually take this fixture's light level down to 95%. Uh, so now it's 95%, but you'll notice we've gone from 48 system watts to 34.5 to 34.8 fluctuating. Uh, so a very substantial uh, drop just by dimming 5%. Let's go another 5% on this to 90% here. And uh, at 90%, you'll notice we're now at uh, 24 point six to twenty four point nine system watts uh, we'll take it down another five points here uh, to eighty five percent you'll notice that we're now at uh, nineteen point two to nineteen point five system watts you'll see that it's still very illuminated because uh, we're at eighty five percent light level let's drop that ten points to seventy five percent and now you'll see that uh, system wattage and consumption is fluctuating between 15.7 to 16 watts. We'll just step down to 50%, a very achievable uh, blend with daylighting for offices where you got a lot of natural light coming in the window. So we're going to go down to 50% here and uh, we'll notice that now the watt meter is going to tell us that system watts are about 10.6 uh, to 10.7 watts, very stable. I'll give you a mapping of the full dim curve in 5% increments, but uh, very common to be able to dim your lights 50% using natural daylight uh, in areas like office towers. So I wanted to demonstrate this concept in action uh, with a watt live watt meter so you can really understand uh, where and how uh, the control savings that we're projecting are actually going to be generated. Uh, look forward to talking about it. Thanks.